Hello, boys and girls. Welcome again to Grandma's Corner. Today I want to introduce you to two little guys, Alex and Tony. Alex is wearing the red shirt, and Tony is wearing the green shirt. And today we're going to read a story called, Alex and Tony Learn to Be Gentlemen. If you have your book, I want you to follow along with me, okay? And every time you hear this sound, that means turn the page. Alex and Tony enjoy breakfast every morning with their parents. Each day before Mom sits down, Dad always pulls out a chair for her. And Alex and Tony never knew why. Tony asks, Dad, why do you always pull the chair out for Mom? Why can't she do it herself? Their dad chuckled and replied, Tony, it's called being a gentleman. And Alex looked up from his bowl of oatmeal and asked curiously, What's a gentleman? And before Dad could answer, Alex asked jokingly, Can I be a gentle boy? And they all broke out into laughter. <laughs> well, Dad said, a gentleman is someone who shows good manners and is respectful and polite. There are many things that you can do to show that you are a gentleman. If mom needs to sit down, I stand up and get a chair for her. I also open the car door for her, and I carry things for her, like the groceries. Yes, she can do these things by herself, but I do them for her because I am a gentleman. Alex and Tony listened carefully as their father continued to talk. And while Mom smiled and nodded her head in agreement as she ate her breakfast, Dad continued, All men and little boys like the two of you should always show women and little girls respect. It's part of being a gentleman. Tony exclaimed with excitement, Oh, I get it, Dad. If a girl drops her books at school and I pick them up, that's being a gentleman, right? Dad answered, You got it, son. That's exactly right. That's just one of many ways to be a gentleman. Your mother really likes it that I always show her respect. It makes her happy. Girls also like it when boys are respectful, too. Dad got an idea and said to both Alex and Tony, Today at school, I want the both of you to think of ways that you can be gentlemen. Maybe you can help a classmate or a teacher with the door. I want you both to be the best little gentleman that you can be. Alex and Tony high-fived each other and said, okay, and they were very anxious to go to school so that they could put Dad's lesson to good use. Later that morning at school, the students in Miss Village second grade class sat at their desks as they quietly did their morning work. When Crystal Rose got up to ask Miss Village a question, and BAM! Crystal tripped over her book bag and fell to the floor as her glasses slid across the room. The boys in the class burst out into laughter <laughs> as Crystal lay unhurt but embarrassed on the classroom floor. Alex and Tony were the only two boys who did not think this was funny. Miss Village looked up from her computer as Tony rushed over to Crystal and held out his hand to help her up. As he was helping her, Alex quickly went to where Crystal's glasses lay and picked them up. As he grabbed Tony's hand and began to get up, Alex handed Crystal her glasses and she smiled a huge grin and thanked them both.
Miss Village was very disappointed in the boys that laughed. She stood before the class and said, I want you boys to thank Alex and Tony for helping Crystal and for not laughing at her. Tony answered proudly, No problem, Miss Village. We were just being gentlemen. Miss Village smiled and said, That's right, class. Being a gentleman is great. It isn't nice to laugh when someone falls. Instead, a gentleman should help. The boys that laughed hung their heads in shame. They felt bad for laughing at Crystal, and all at once they said to her, I'm sorry. <coughs> Miss Village was really impressed with Alex and Tony, and before they left school for the day, she let them both pick a prize from the classroom treasure box. She thanked them again and said, You're never too young to be a gentleman. Alex and Tony flashed huge smiles and couldn't wait to tell their mom and father about their day. The end. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. This story was written by the author named Antony Boykin. And it was illustrated by Dia Reto. Remember we talked about an author? An author is one who writes the story. An illustrator is one who draws the pictures to bring the story to life so you can see what's actually happening. Sometimes an author can be the illustrator and draw their own pictures. But in this case, Antony had help from a friend who drew her pictures for you. I hope you enjoyed the story. And you know, as I always do when I finish my story, I like to ask questions. What color was Alex's shirt? What color was Tony's shirt? What was the name of the teacher in the classroom? What was the name of the little girl who fell over her book bag? Why did Dad say he likes to put pull Mom's chair out for her? And last, can you guys think of ways to be a gentleman? I hope you enjoyed the story. And gentlemen can only... Not only be for boys, but guess what? Kindness can be for everyone, even girls, ladies, and men. So when you see someone in need or someone that wants help, they may not always ask, but if you see what they need, volunteer or go up and say, can I help you? Or just start helping. It will put a smile on their face. Have a good day, boys and girls. Grandma's talk with you later.